Shoes! <sighs> God dang it. Sir Mart Herman the German. <laughs> Stop moving! You gotta be kidding me! After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <laughs> okay. And. And a cogwheel. Just a tiny one. Though, that's the problem. Have these posters out, Paul Man? Bookings cancelled, Paul Man. Security's been slaughtered, Paul Man. Your truck about to end last, Paul Man. I panicked! And now you're going to pay! I'm a director! And you will show me some respect! Something's wrapped in cloth. No, not yet. A mess of filthy sewing materials and broken cookware. Nothing seems useful. I have to. Shoes! Red shoes! Oh, wait. Red shoes, wasn't it Dorothy? <laughs> Won't you wear the shoes? Well, I will wear them, but not yet, because if it's gonna make me bleed, I'm gonna wear them in here. Dang it! Poison fills the halls, pass with colorless shoes. Colorless? They are not colorless. Oh wait, wait, maybe, maybe wash off the red and then they are colorless. Let's go to the water. Yes! Haha! -ha. Sir Mart, you washed off the blood to reveal a transparent pair of shoes. Got glass shoes. Ah, this is like, wait. Cinderella. <laughs> I need to retrieve something. Something important. Tell me. And I, I will get it for an you. Orphanage. Ah. Badbach Conservatory. Yeah. Or rather, I was held captive there. But before we go, it's funny to hear that he said Badbach. Not bad back or something, but Badbach, which is actually German. And that's what I thought when I talked to him. I thought, ah, oh, Herman the German. <laughs> And this reminds me of Scrubs, one episode with two German guys, and that was quite funny. I am uh, Rolf's brother, Herman. Herman the German. You must get that all the time. No, first time. Oh. Let's hope it catches on. <laughs> Badbach Conservatory, Registry of Bearer Losses. Okay, I'm not gonna go... Oh, although, this might be the year, the month, and the day. 8 for 6, August 16th. Hans, 10 years old, lithification. Alfred, 9 years old, succumbed to conditioning. Franz, 12 years old, lithification. Paulina, 10 years old, emaciation. Actually, those could be all German names. Hans, Alfred, Franz and Paulina. Hmm. 846, August 17th. Bruno, 11 years old, disciplined for attempting flight. And Johanna, 12 years old, disciplined for attempted flight as well. And then 846, September 18th. Reinhard, 9 years old, succumbed to conditioning. Marta, 10 years old, succumbed to conditioning. Lothar, 12 years old, lithification. And Dietrich, 11 years old, emaciation. And then the rest is missing. But those are really all German names. And Badbach is German. Hermann, or Hermann. Hermann is English, but Hermann is German. Uh, interesting. Whoa, Still not over. Right <laughs> Just go on the oh, brakes. Ah! What's wrong with you, people? <laughs> Barrel roll. <laughs> Be happy you're still alive. You could have been dead. Oh. Beautiful. Now, stop moving. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! <sighs> Adamantoise shell. Yeah, that's what we need. It's believed an adamantoise will grow a thin new layer to its protective shell once every two moons. Considering that many of the creatures live for hundreds of years, it should come as no surprise that the shells of older specimens can be several hands thick and weigh over 50 stone. That sounds like a lot. I better get these materials to mid so she can finish her prototype. <laughs> But in the original he wasn't bound. 
He was shooting <laughs> around the area. his kind doing here ah oh. son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no that's man. why they fight it ain't like that <laughs> He's here for you, to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. Stay back! This fight is really tough, I can tell. It has Just been in the original already. Man. Right here. Right now. You know. I can hear her now. Eleanor. As clear as day. Begging me to stop. Give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know! Shinra! Always Shinra! Where are they coming from? Why not? Eleanor and Marlene are waiting for me, but I can't bring myself to join them. Oh, he thinks both of them are dead. Marlene, she's alive. Yeah. Just turn four. She's in Midgar. Oh. 
Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. He saved her. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew. And still, you took her. And you thought you were That's dead. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. He really is delusional and crazy. Dad, we could go see Marlene right now. So cute. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Holy shit. Pretty. I missed you. I'm quite certain in the original, Dine did die too, yes, but I think, didn't he jump into a crevice and killed himself like that? There were no Shinra soldiers, or am I wrong? Because this is what I remember.
Flaming Sword. Well, this has been a long time since we sparred with Murdoch. And yes, this is what I wanted to say before. We have a dog! This is our dog. And I love it. I'm a, I'm a huge dog person. I have a dog myself. Kemi. Two arms. And yes, as far as I know, we can use this dog during battle at some point as well. But this will be a few more hours in before we actually can do that. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. You wield the firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? <laughs> Have you arranged? Well, well. <sighs> you never stopped looking for me. Did you, boy? Aww. <sighs> Thank you. For never giving up. For never forgetting. Oh, so cute. I love dogs. Let's take this with us, shall we? So much. So I don't forget either. Right. We have something for our wall of memories. Witcher's Diary, read. I'm going to die from my sickness. So, I'm going to take her body. You gotta be kidding me. I'm going to live on in her body. It's okay, right? Because we are friends, she'll give me her body. Because we are friends. That's why you came to play with me today. Right? Viola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bitch, I'm leaving. I'm, 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 I'm leaving. I can't leave. Legless girl. What? What? I could have saved it? Fuck! I could have saved it. What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you fucking kidding? Ah. <sighs> the wings aren't going to move on their own, but with the right cog in the right place. Mm hmm. Well, you just wait and see. So it's. It's gonna be like flapping wings like a bird, okay? Ah! This reminds me of Final Fantasy IX. Didn't the, the airship have something similar in Final Fantasy IX? Here goes nothing. Cool. And Radas too? <laughs> it wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Break. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think he can shoot this. Got you. Come on. A control vehicle. Oh, I didn't Let's see that. Me. With the right stick. Are you fucking kidding? Steer with the right stick. Stay left, just stay left. First, I'll need oil, and not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. Refined <laughs> stuff, like they're making all dill. Nina, Nina! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna regret that. True ending. Really? Okay. Were there different endings? Um. Um. Stay. <laughs> Just give it up already. Oh, that's why I have the knife. She's she's just killing her, herself. Okay. How long are you going to chase me? You know you are almost dead.
If und Bürger. Hm? Give it back? Oh, she said give it back. No way. I don't feel any pain in this body. Besides, you're the one who gave it. What? Wait a second. Is Alan in Viola's body already and Viola is now in Alan's body? Uh, besides, you're the one who gave it to me. Why should I have to give it back? Right? Viola? Oh, shit. Oh, no. You felt so sorry for me. I couldn't even move from my bed. That's why I used my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day. <laughs> Maybe I did promise that. What the fuck? I was surprised you managed to trap me in there, but to no avail. After all, it's my house. Why would it ever kill me? The house guided me the entire way to ensure that I would escape. Still not dead? I have to applaud your tenacity. Ah, maybe you are too worried about your father to die. What, is she gonna kill the dad as well? Oh, I know all about you and your father, Viola. A close family of two. Those memories stayed in your body. He's a kind man. A hunter, isn't he? And he even sent you that letter. What a good father. So then, I suppose you are worried about what will happen when you're gone. It'll be just fine. I'll make sure his daughter, Viola, gives him her share of love. And I'll take her share of love too. So just... Viola! Viola, are you safe? Are you hurt anywhere? What? Why? Oh, this was him. <laughs> oh, she wants to say father. Help. Stay away, monster. Don't shoot her. Don't. Fucking hell. Oh, shit. Killed his own daughter without knowing it. Whoa, I have goosebumps. Ho! Oh. And that's the end. Are you kidding? And that's the true ending? What would have happened if I... What? The hell? Oh, God. Um... Can we see some credits, please? The cat is coming. And she vanished. The cat too. Well, that's so weird. That's so fucking weird. And that's it. We don't even have credits? Holy shit. Um, okay. It's still here. After all these years. Lots more than I remember. And you're a lot bigger. You might have to swim, boy. No. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. 